Welcome to Empire of the and welcome back to my Divinity of Isengard campaign for the Divide and Conquer version 5 mod from Medieval 2. And we're going to continue that from last time, where now, at this point in time, the Dunedain and Aer Lewin are both dead. I am now the complete and sole controller of Eriador, and now, at this point in time, uh, we are bringing all of my forces over to start destroying everything. Um... I've already started the next faction poll for who we're going to be playing next in uh, this mod. We'll be going to the extended unit roster version of it, uh, which at the moment right now looks like uh, Rune and Rohan are the two front runners of two of the polls. I just put up the third one as of before starting this recording, so I'll have to see who's going to win that one. I'm kind of hoping for that poll, uh, it would be Angmar, so then it would be probably those three will be the ones that we're probably figuring out. Also, maybe Orcs of Gundabad too, though, so I'm, I'm opposed to that. But basically... Right now, at this point in time today, with Eridor and er, sorry, er, Erithuin and uh, the Dunedain dead, um, we don't have as much to do right now. Um, basically, or it's like it's a lot easier for us to focus down on things. I'm pulling all of these troops back because I want to have it so that we're going to actively try and go on the offensive against the forces of Rohan. We've been leaving them alone for forever, and I finally want to let the Nazgul that are in uh, Fulberg do something. So we're gathering troops, gathering all these guys over here, because I really want to have it so we focus them down. We're going to kind of slow our advance into Dorn winning a little bit, um, and basically kind of wait, or we'll basically just only use uh, Zagar for that, essentially. So he'll still keep trying to do stuff around here, keep trying to harass these guys, do what he can, keep training stuff around here. So he'll keep harassing. Also, I'll probably have him maybe take some stuff occasionally from the forces of Dale. So he'll be the one still doing stuff up here, while we're trying to focus on Rohan down first. Um, I'm trying to move people into position so that I can... Um, I want to try and hit Kemeth Bryn and Goblin Town before I hit the forces of the Veil. Vale. Because I want to make sure that we take those two territories at the exact same time. Because I'm going to be having to defend against them a little bit for a while. And um, even if their troop quality is not crazy, this is what they have in there for their military. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're going to be trying to just continue gathering all of our forces up around here. I'm actually going to have it so that any areas that I'm recruiting troops from, as long as it's not too far away, uh, essentially I want you guys to just send your shit immediately to Latash. So we have a lot of armies making their way over here. So I have it so I'll have Leofric be the one. I might actually have you guys kill off these rebels just because, like, if we get all my guys over here and just group up around them, I think it won't be too bad. So we can try and have you guys do that. Then these armies are trying to make their way over to Kemeth Bryn and everything. So we'll try and get these these four armies. I'll bring over uh, Ganotan as well. So I'll bring him over here. So these five will go over here, kind of clear this stuff up. And then that's when we signal our fight. So in the meantime, I'll just be bringing all my troops over this way. I'll try and clear up these rebels a little bit, but just gather all the troops we've gathered over this entire time. So basically, I want to make sure that if you guys can, um, leave behind beat-up units. So Get I want to grab anybody fight. that's fully Let's replenished, bring them forward, so that way we have the most amount of men possible. Everything else is just going to be retrained and sent forward. So you guys keep sending your way up over here as well. But for the most part right now, I'll just keep moving these armies all forward because we've got all of these guys. These, uh, this rebel army, I want to at least get rid of you possibly. They just don't like you sitting around here. I could probably still ignore you, honestly, if I really want to. Yeah, we'll see. But no, for the most part, I need to just start gathering a bunch of troops. So I need to make sure I'm moving all these guys forward. Because a lot of you guys are just gathered around, specifically around Latash. Because that's the one that has the most troops around there. And then I need to go through all these damn territories and see. Because we don't have to worry about most of this stuff now. Um, I need just to see which of you has units that are not doing anything. And just send them forward. Let's see, another Jonas bodyguard. I'll accept you. New mission, take Hornburg. Ooh, I'm about to start doing that, actually. Because at the moment right now, we're gathering troops around here so we can actually start pushing forward with my Nazgul. Um, so within those 15 turns, I think we should be able to actually complete that. Because for right now, you guys are just gathering a bunch of crap over here. So start doing that. Currently Siege of Kazadoom again. F feel free, guys. I don't care. Not while I actually have my Nazgul. If you actually attack, it's fine. Because I can easily take out all of you guys with the forces I've got around here. Then, at this point in time right now, let's see. So, 
trying to send you guys forward here with some more men to Imladris. Basically just trying to gather more forces together. So you guys and then these guys go up there. You're wandering about. Okay, 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 that's fine. Let's gather all these men around here for right now. Just right next to the edge so I'm not pissing them off just yet. Because we want to make sure we get some of you guys close enough to be able to hit Goblin Town. Some of you hit uh, Camp of Bryn. And then everybody else around here is gathering to be pushing towards uh, Lata uh, past Latash. For right now, though, I think we should be fine to just, like, go on in here. Ah, yes, finish these eyes off one at a time. You should be good there. So, kill him. And then let's get rid of these other rebels. So, if we go, like, right here... Since these are rebels, I swear to God, game, this should be fine. I should be fine to auto-resolve these two to death. Yes. There we go. So that'll get rid of all of you guys. That way we don't have to worry about the forces of the rebels there. Then, just keep gathering these men around here. So I just want to make sure that we both have, we have full stack armies on my Nazgul forces. So basically... I will leave behind anybody that's beat up enough. It's like you two are beat up enough. Then I'll have you go in here and Latash and stay there. Then we can grab other units in place of them. So grab those. And then give me like, what, six units from here probably. Let's go with that. There we go. So that's one army ready. Which King Magmar is here as well. And now we're just waiting on those troops to get here. While we're trying to do all the shit over here. Because we're trying to have this be the start of the fight. So all of these troops keep gathering up around here. Uh, these guys need to, yeah, just keep retraining these men around here. Keep doing that. And I've got more men here as well. And then I already moved everybody else around back here. So everybody else back here is already going to be moving forward. So we don't have to worry about them. And they'll get here eventually. A very long time, eventually. But yeah, no, you guys will get there. Uh, I do think... Let me ignore this guy. I'll just bring the extra men. It'll just take longer, but we can have you slowly get out of here. I'll grab those guys and we'll move out of here next turn. Um, we can keep doing that. This area seems to be a bit happier until we can move some free up keep units out of that area. And then how long is it going to take for... Because you guys are all... You stop moving. I need to make sure you guys are continuously moving. Because I could get started with these guys. But I, I want Saruman to be there before we get going. So we just have to keep babysitting you up here, which is going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about seven turns to get there. So that's when I'll have all of these guys there, and then we can start hitting Rohan from the east. All right, let's see. So I'm Seed. Uh, yep, again, I'm over here. I'm not opposed to that. That's fine. You guys will be okay. Because you guys have held there long enough already. I think you'll be fine. Because for the most part right now, we're just still sending everybody back. Yeah, you should be okay if you're attacked there, Saruman. Because for right now, I'm slowly but surely retraining everything around here. I actually can move out again with um, Zagar now. So I have you take over command of this army. He'll be able to move out. So I'll have him move out here. And then uh, there aren't any more boats, but I can get over here. And at the moment right now, I want to hit Rubar. Rubar is actually weak enough. So let's go, let's drop off here. That way. Oh, I don't have enough movement. Okay, well, let's have you... Oh, I can't get back over there. Get ready for fighting. No more boats here. Yeah, I'll have you try and hit this city next turn. And then we'll be giving that over to the Adonai. So hopefully they don't bring anybody over this way. If they do, then it should be fine. But let's see, so back over here. So right now, I'm going to have you go over here with this army. So you two are going to go for Goblin Town. These armies are ready whenever. But I want to wait until we can hit Goblin Town before we do anything. So we'll keep just gathering more forces around over here. Over there. You keep retraining more troops as well. God, I'm going to have... I'm going to have so... Okay, they have a lot of armies, but I'm also going to have a lot of armies when we start pushing over into this area. Because that's just going to be interesting, the fact that I have it. So the, for the most part right now... If you guys can, like, if you have men that are beat up, I'm first having you guys retrain them. But then I do want you guys to be sending just every able-bodied uh, Uruk uh, and uh, Goblin and anything that we can use to fight forward, basically. So we're slowly but surely just going to be having everybody be going over this way. 
back over here now. Let's see. So I've got a couple guys. I'm trying to get Kamul a full stack army here. Need to get some artillery pieces in here, which we're slowly getting. Same with you guys. Start getting some more men around here. We need to make sure we have a little bit of everything. So start grabbing that. More artillery pieces. Because we're going to have... Uh, I'm going to have it so every Nazgul actually has their own individual army this time. So we'll have it so that Lagrin has his army. Shivos has his army. Kamul has his army. Uh, no more of this two uh, Nazgul in each force. They're going to start spreading on out because I think we now have enough men. Our economy is doing strong enough that we can now start having them be individually leading their own armies. So that way we can have them spread out and conquer more. Hello again, Lothorian. Let's do this. You guys do not have a uh, crazy army here. A lot of archers. But again, as long as we can get you guys to blob up on the bridge, I'm going to slaughter you. So, we'll fight this once more. Because it's going to take us a little while until we can get everybody in position. I can at least hit Goblin Town next turn, or I should be able to. So we can start the war with the Veilsmen next turn. Then we have to start pushing <laughs> past Mount Gundabad. And Boozerkul and all that shit. Which I... Oh man, I'm I'm wondering how bad it's actually going to be. Am I just exaggerating? Because like I know they're not the most. Like, I've never seen them last this long and be have so many armies. So I don't know how bad it's going to be with them. So maybe it's just nothing. We'll have to see. Okay, let's get you guys down here. Get all my infantry ready and waiting to go to just distract them. Get them to blob up, and then we can have it so that all of my archers and skirmishers. And start firing at them. But yeah, it's like, you guys start the battle. Uh, don't forget the guys here. Then we'll get my archer skirmishers back here. It's like there, there, and then there. So you guys run forward. You guys should have fire at will off with the Nazgul initially. And then we just need you guys to get blobbed up. Uh, skirmisher, I mean, my artillery pieces do also make it rip here. War, so you just chill back here and wait. Alright, so here they are. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer with a Nazgul, I feel like. Oh no, I can have you like hit here and I like, try and hit back here a little bit. Just try and throw stuff there. There we go. Then cease fire after you've thrown. Because I'm gonna make sure that they get to keep moving forward a little bit. Because as he said, they've lost 21% of their army already. Let them blob up a little bit more. Blisses, if you can, try and shoot these archers. Actually, John's bodyguard is the center unit. So try and hit those guys specifically. Nazgul. Get some more volleys just into this guy specifically. Yeah, right there. Cease fire. Keep letting them move up. Because they've lost a third of their army so far. It's just the issue. Most of their units are archers. So they're not going to really move forward here. Like I want them to. Like you guys, if you can fire back here. Yeah, I keep hitting the sentinel unit first. It's like you guys, if you can just keep firing over there. You're almost, like, right around the same spot. So you guys can just keep firing into them. Until they run out of ammo, and they start moving forward. Uh, sadly, they decided to make their way forward with the rest of their troops. They got a little bit of damage in there, but I'll be able to recover most of those. I just wish you guys... They had so many archers. So even after they started running out of ammo, they didn't decide to make their way forward. That's okay. We held them at bay. As long as we can keep holding them at bay here and keep getting kills, things are going in the direction we want with Lothorian. And once we finish off Rohan, that's when we'll finish, like, start pushing into Lothorian also from the south as well, basically. Because it's just going to take us some time to get Saruman over here. To focus on to and deal with Rohan and take them out. I am going to be able to start hitting. I'm kind of hoping that what will happen with the Veil vale is once I take Goblin Town and Chemethrin, I'm going to hope they start spreading those armies out from that one city. If they don't, <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Fucking assholes to siege me again immediately. Oh come on! It's probably, it is the best thing for them to do. Let's see, because right now, yep, we're siege over here again. Kind of sad you guys weren't able to get some replenishment. I'll just kind of queue up these retrainings right now. This army have more infantry. That's uh, about the same. No, we'd still be, we'll still be fine. Okay. Then, what we need to do now is, let's see, so, yeah, they pulled up the guys away there. Oh, yeah, no, we can do this. So, let's see. Yeah, so what we can do is you be the one that gets here first. We're going to declare war on you guys. Oh, come on. Oh, do you not have enough movement? Do you have enough movement? Okay, let's guarantee we have enough movement. 
So you go there, start the siege, group up. Then, we should be able to easily take Goblin Town with you guys without an issue. Yeah, five to one. And the troops you guys have, I'm just trying to remind myself of the unit quality you guys have. Skin change, okay, the skin changes I remember can be disgusting. So we do have to be careful of that. But you should be fine. You can push on into Goblin Town. Then, we can start building this stuff up. And then we'll start putting you guys onto growth build policy here. Get a spy, start helping convert that area. Then we'll go over here. So this army, I don't want to fight this myself. Actually, let's see. So if I go here, so I'm going to attack you, I'm going to lure you out. And I want to make it so that, like, let's bring at least one other army. I'm going to hope that will be enough that they won't be running. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. No. I can have you guys just go here. You guys can go there. I'm gonna take this army out myself. Oh, I don't have movement? Oh no, I'm next to the city. Well, should be fine. Ow! That hurts, but Ganotan only took two casualties. So that's fine. Now we can finish this army off at least. So now I'll have it so that, yeah, you just. Let's see. Let's bring you over here. You've got three other slots. So let's grab you, you, and you. Oh, they have no movement. Okay. So that's fine. But yeah, let's deal with this army here. Ah, oh, I don't have enough movement. Unless I lead with you, but I don't want to lead with you. I just leave it alone. Just ignore it. Let's get these guys all to push out here. Because then this is going to be another army that's grouping up with us. Because at least now, at this point in time, we now have it, so now we can defend it at Goblin Town until we are ready to kind of push on forward. Let's see this, yeah, that still gives us a bonus. Well, eh, that's fine. We don't have to, wor we're not worry worrying too much about, like, retraining stuff out in the fr uh, front lines here for us. We're, we're recruiting so much, that doesn't matter. So, just start trying to do that, and then, uh, now over here... <laughs> This is the fun part, where I need to start pushing forward, but also, that's a lot of Veilsman armies, and I don't know what I want to do with that, honestly. Uh, this army here can have at least two more slots, because we want to move up in unison. And keep moving up this way. I'll have it so, like, once it's a full stack army, we always move them forward. Because for right now, I don't know if we want to just, like, beeline to Mount Gundabad. Or what's going to happen with them. Because we could actually hit Mount Gundabad. No, actually, I can't. Yeah, no, I cannot hit Mount Gundabad this turn. So we'll sit here with all of my troops. And then uh, I do need to go back over here. Oh, I can still take Rubar or Elgar. Let's see. These are... Actually, if I'm going to try and hit a different city, I'd actually rather go... See, I'm still, still swords. I think I'm going to ignore this one. Let's go over here instead. Because you... I can night battle and ignore you. Oh, that's also the kid. This is King Bane! Oh, man. Okay. Hi, Bane. How's it going, man? It's been a while since we've seen you. Uh, die. So that way, we can take that. Let's push back to past this guy. Then, we can try and give this territory over to the Adonine. So let's go here. And then I get to give them another territory. It's been a while since everything's a little slowed down, but we can do that. So I'll give you guys a region. And I want to give you this one. And I think I should also give you guys money so you can actually do stuff. So let's give you guys 50k so you guys can do stuff. Because I'm still hoping that eventually you guys might join on in and help me. So we'll give you guys 50k. Then you guys now have this territory. I'll get on to the, my boat next turn. Turn back over here because you guys just need to keep trying to train and or recruit more stuff. Just do one of the two. Always give me more men so I can keep pushing around here with Zagar. Or just keep retraining the troops I have. Because we'll just keep trying to just take whatever opportunities we can to get more free land over here. I'll take it. Uh, still sieging over there. That's fine. Just need to make sure you guys are all still moving around here. 
As long as you're all still moving, that's all that really matters. Alrighty, here they come once again. Uh, you guys hear decent chunk of infantry in the army. Everything else should be okay, though. But, you know, let's defend this once more as we keep trying to do what we can. Because at the moment right now, I just can't wait until we can get over. It's, it's still just taking us a long time to get over to Rohan. But once Rohan's dead, I'm going to be really happy about that. And I still kind of find it funny that, like... If my next campaign after this one ends up being Rohan, that's going to kind of be kind of poetic. Um, honestly, I, I think I am very open to the idea of doing uh, a Rune campaign. I think out of all the options so far. Because at the moment, Rune's winning one, Rohan's winning another. Um, actually, I think it's been long enough that I can bring it up on my phone and see who might be winning currently for the most recent poll I just put up. Because that one... Gundabat! Actually, looks like Gundabat at the moment of me looking at it. Um... It is, they are the ones currently winning. So, uh, actually, out of all of those, I could see, I could see any of them. Um, let's see, so we're going to need to have one of you down on the ground, because you need to try and get them off of that ram. I'll then put some men over here, and some men right here. And then I'll have my crossbows and skirmishers. You guys are going to be up on the walls, just trying to turn on towers to destroy the siege towers. So right there there, there, and there. Uh, this archer can be here, I guess. Uh, javelins, I'll have you guys kind of over here. And then I need more of my infantry up on the walls. So like, over here, here, here. That's all of you guys. It's these three that are left, so over here, over here, and over here. There. That's all of you guys. Wargs can just kind of chill in the city center. Ballista right here. In case we need to start trying to focus down their artillery pieces. But we'll start the plummet. Start the battle. You get them off of the ram. And as long as we get them off the ram, siege towers we can destroy. And then the ladders, we should be able to hold them on the walls there. Should make sure that you guys all make sure you're guard mode on there. We had to start unloading in there. Gates are closed. There we are. Oh, frames burned too. Beautiful. And they do have a couple others back here, but I'm hoping they don't pick those up. That's my hope. If they do, we should be okay. Like, I'll probably be able to hopefully do enough damage to them beforehand. But yeah, so like right now, just hold them on the walls. Hold them at the ladders. Because we have a decent amount of men here, so we should be okay, I think. Alrighty, I was able to get rid of some of you guys in the towers. There was some of their uh, cult knights there. Trying to hit the other siege tower since it's not destroyed yet. Ladders are holding out. Uh, we've already been able to kick out some of the ladders here. Some of you are already, already breaking too. So it's not too good start. They are grabbing another ram though. That's not what I want. It's like this is about to be destroyed here. Um, you guys might last long enough. Oh, my wargs went out. If I have to... I can use the wargs. So let's have the captain stay behind. I'll try and have him run out. Got a little bit more damage on you guys. Now the towers can just start focusing on to this other ram. Yeah, I'll try and see if I can get my wargs out here quickly enough to try and get them to drop that one. Oh my god, you guys got there just barely in time. Beautiful. Okay. So they've lost a third of their army overall. Uh, They're currently focusing on the ladders. Does not look like they are grabbing another ram, so I think we are good at this point. Okay, they got a little bit further in on this side than I'd like. Uh, they've lost half their army, though, so far. At this point in time, they got, like, one ladder up here. Need more of you guys to kind of move to the side a bit more. Sort of more on top of the ladders. Blisses at least can provide some firing support. And as long as you guys fire in melee, you guys should be able to beat them back. Because they've lost a good chunk of their army already. The uh, rest of them might just be the cavalry, so I don't think we have to worry too much. There we go. A little more damage I would like them to do to my crossbows, but overall... Let's see, recover most of them. Nah, it's mainly the defenders that take the recovery. That's okay. None of my guys were destroyed. Uh, one of my crossbows was destroyed. That's not nice. That's okay, though. We, we should be fine still around here. You guys have been able to hold really nicely. And if they want to keep just throwing their troops over here at us, I'm okay with that. Because I think, if anything, I think they've at least been bankrupted from all the shit that I've been doing to them. So they can't really recruit more troops. It's just they had a lot to begin with. 
and they're slowly getting through them, basically. So I feel like that's kind of uh, what's been going on with them. I should have to double check that if that is what's going on with their financials or not. Because as long as that's the case, like, hey, it's okay if they want to keep sending troops over here. Slowly they'll be whittled down if they can't recruit anything more. Just please just don't re-siege. <laughs> Fucking course. This is, like, the thing I'm concerned about if I do focus my attention on trying to go after... Yeah, just don't attack the forces of Saruman. This is where I need to have it so that I try and get Zagar back here. Let's just pull back. Pull back. We must pull back. Yeah, I'm just going to take the out resolve with this. Deal a little bit of damage. It's, an, it's a tiny little army. It's fine. Uh, I'll accept those guys back. I'll just train them and I'll try and have them stay around over here. But, you know, I, I need to have it so Zagar... I took that one city right now from the Dale... I need to go back down south again. Because basically, while I have so many other people focusing on Rohan and on the western side of the map, somebody does need to still keep doing stuff in the east. That will be Zagar. And so Zagar, I think, should keep pushing into Objective. the forces of the uh, Dernwinian. Um, I think we should go for... My mouse isn't visible right now. Um, the city that's in the northwestern side of their southern bit. We could also have Zagar still focus on like their northwest and northern stuff first. Because then that would mean they have nothing else over there. Then go to the south. But I do need to, like, if I hit the southern stuff, then we can have it so they don't attack us anymore. So. Put Zagar here. I can get on the boat. This area is now vulnerable. Yeah, because we're just going for whatever areas look vulnerable. So that way we don't have to worry about... Uh, this one, I might... It's fine, Zagar. He's fine. He just takes a bit of damage. Then we occupy it. And then I'll get out of here. And then I'm not able to disembark right now. Um, let's sit here. And I'm going to... Keep enough movement there. Um, Can you not tell friend from foe? I'm a little worried about that army being just sank. Um, Get ready for fighting. Listen up. I can't leave anything Let's back there. I have to give it over to them. I'd never take orders from you. I don't know if you don't want to try and fight me. They might, but I should just give the city over to the Adonai now. Dear friends, what can nope, we not going to give money right now. So give region... Give this back to you guys. So give that over to you guys. That way we're at least kind of splitting up the forces of Dale now. Yeah, because I can't sit in my own allies' port. I'll sit right here, though. And then hopefully we'll be able to disembark again over here next turn. And then start trying to do a bit more. Because I, I can try and do... If I had more ships, I'd feel safer about sailing further up the river. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get away with that for right now. So, we'll just go with that. And then back down here. We should still be okay. Let's see, is that a lot of... Cavalry? No, that's pretty... They only have one ladder, though. Okay, so at the moment, that's better. I'm going to leave behind one of you guys, actually. I'm going to leave this guy behind. Just so we have more men defending there. Because a lot of them are chasing Saruman. Which I don't appreciate you're making your way over here. He's safe. Saruman's safe. This guy, <laughs> this guy's fucked. This guy's so fucked. Yeah, because you keep making your way over there. All of you retrain in Morogost. And I can then send you guys back forward to help out against, uh, down here at least. So you can do that. We've then got some more guys over here. I need to move forward as well. I have enough men we could start pushing. Tempted to. I know. Let's see. You guys got some extra men. Kamul is almost ready. Kamul just needs siege equipment. And then Kamul's ready. Like, I've got a lot around here getting ready. Like, we've got all of this. All of this. Kamul's here. And then I'll be taking all of you guys as well. And I'm taking the good units. I don't care if these guys are free upkeep. I don't care if I go bankrupt. I'm taking the good units, too. 
It's like, you guys go there. Here. Honestly, next turn we can start pushing out this way. Saruman's not here yet, but we could start pushing now. We have a lot of armies right here. I can wait until next turn, just so, like, yeah, you guys can move together. Because we've got at least five armies here. Actually, I can get pretty far. Like, let's let's say you guys go this way. We're gonna start pushing forward. Yeah, like, gather around this bridge. There, 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 and there. Yeah, because you guys make your way towards Aldberg. You'll go there first. So that's where you're gonna try and go. Now, what the hell are they doing up here? Oh, yeah, they're spreading out. Oh, God. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. If you guys want to attack Karn Doom, which it looks like you guys are trying to do, that's fine. <laughs> Feel free to do so. That is okay. I don't mind that. I'm gonna gather... I'm gonna just keep gathering men together in this pass here for now. Until I see... Because, if they, again, if they want to go attack Karn Doom, that's perfect. I want them to do that. Because I want them to kind of, like, yeah, spread their troops out, and then we just push through... And then I, I'm expecting them to possibly want to try and hit Goblin Town as well. Uh, you guys should kill this army here. So I might want to have it so we fight this battle. He's going to run like a bitch. Let's go here, here, and here. And then I'm going to fight this myself just because I want to make sure we minimize casualties with my Nazai. That's a lot of General's Bodyguard. Those are all fucking skin changers. Oh my god. Okay, yep, yeah, it should be, should be fine. Just let you guys be all controlled by the AI. I've got a lot of Naz high, so it should be okay. But yeah, let's just start pushing on in here. I need to start checking out what their military is looking like. Because um, for the most part, I don't think their troop quality is insane. So, like, this is comparable to us, like, fighting... Like, if we were fighting the Dunlendings or... Um, also, I need to realize, I've been saying it wrong this entire time. The, I've been saying Edenwaith. Enedwaith is the actual proper pronunciation. And I only realized that when I mispr uh, misspelled their name in the polls. Um, those guys. So, quality-wise, shouldn't be crazy here. I don't think so. But they do have the, uh, the skin changers, which I know are a good unit. Everything else I don't think is crazy. It's just those guys. So, like, let's get all my skirmishers up here. Nazhai, you guys save, cease fire and save ammo and wait. Yeah, everybody push forward into position. Have my allies make their way over here. They might actually try and go after my allies. I try and specifically focus on them. Because, like, the Veil Archers... Like, if I just look through the quality... Like, those guys are crap. Uh, crap. Uh, crap. <laughs> Good unit. Uh, crap. 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 Most of this stuff is crap. So, like, th th uh, that's an okay unit. But, yeah, no, so, like, I think for the most part, yes, they have a lot of armies. Uh, the quality is nothing insane, though. So, I think we should be okay. But yeah, let's have you guys keep trying to group up here. That was my, they're trying to go towards my allies right now. So, we'll try and just follow up behind them and try and keep a pace with them if we can. Yep, they're going after my allies. So, now we've been able to get up a little bit closer. Start opening fire. Now, we do want to make sure that, uh, if I'm going to shoot anybody, shoot the fucking skin changers with these things. I don't care if I hit my own men. The skin changers are good units. So, let's have the Nazai try and specifically focus on them. That's also their general's bodyguard. So, if we kill those guys, yeah, just start unloading with you guys. Specifically start focusing on the skin changers. That's your goal. As you guys can take them out. That's, they had eight of them. Like, that's a really good unit. They've got pretty good stats there. They're pretty hard to kill, honestly, too. Like, the uh, grenades are a short fire way to do it. But, like, my infantry is actually taking quite a lot of damage. They've lost a good amount, though. Yeah, 23% of their forces are already dead. I haven't killed any of their generals just yet. So, yeah, just keep throwing at the skin changers. Some of them are starting to break. Yep, there we go. If they're breaking, just ignore them. Yeah, just keep focusing on the skin changes with the Nazai. It's right there, there, and then, like, you get a blob over here. Like, that's a big blob of just units. Just hit him. Try and do that. You're an Axeman. Skin changes are still fighting. Let's see, this one's at 18. 
Yeah, it's hard to kill their Jones bodyguards. Because they've got, like, this is like the one time I think I don't mind a, like, melee general's bodyguard. Because the skin changes are actually good for melee general's bodyguards. But you guys here. Let's see, because they're at 14 there. Come on, keep throwing. So let's see, that's 40% of their army is dead so far. This guy's down to 10 now. Oh my god, just kill him! They route before I kill them, which is bugging me. So I need to get my wargs over here. I need to have you try and run them down if you possibly can. Because there's one of them uh, way over here. This guy's routing, so go try and run him down. My wargs, you're... Oh, there we go. There's one out of the eight, was it? Okay, you guys get set up there. Let's have you guys move up and just start shooting whatever. They've lost half their army already. And I think I took out all the really good units now. Oh, there's still some skin changers over there. Yeah, more skin changers over here. Yeah, keep focusing on the skin changers. Yeah, because even the crossbows took a, a little while to kill them. Yeah, there's this one guy still alive. Please kill him. Please. He's almost dead, guys. Okay, let's go. Let's see, I think I saw another one. Um, another one over there. He's routing too, though. There's another Jones bodyguard. There's two. There's literally eight of them in this army, and I still haven't killed them all. I've only killed the two. There we go. There is the other six of them. I had to run them all down, but, you know, there we go. So that's every single one of them now. See, so it's so many. But, yeah, there we go. That's 90% of the enemy army is dead, so we can just end the battle. I just want to make sure we got every single one of those generals. Because if that's, like, what all their armies are going to be like, oh, God. Let's get skin changers can actually do some pretty good da damage. But now those guys have been defeated. I will have it so um, I'll leave those two armies around Goblin Town. I don't think I need to send anybody else. That should be enough. I'm gonna send Candle Tan back up, regroup around Latash because we're trying to gather together as many armies as we can over there before we start pushing. Because I want to make sure that if okay if they're gonna like be distracted and try and go on the offensive against me, they can. But if we are going the offensive, I need to make sure we're prepared for that, and I don't want to get overwhelmed. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, Gano Tan. Um, let's have you grab. Let's see, you, oh, you have no artillery pieces. You know, let's grab these two. Let's do this. Grab these two. Yeah, you go up here. You just ignore that guy, probably. Um, and then I want to have it so that you. Grab up these guys. And you'll be making your way up there too. Uh, I might leave you guys around Goblin Town just in case they need a little bit more. So you can go over there, help out around Goblin Town. And then, for the most part, it's basically, again, just waiting until next turn for all of you guys so Kumul has movement. Then we can have it so we can get Shivos and Lagarin, some armies. And then I'll also. Should be able to hit um, Aldberg on this side at this point, I'm hoping. All right, here you guys come once more. Um, again, this army here has a lot more cavalry, not as many archers, so I think I'll be able to send more of their men to their deaths here against us. And actually, because I took enough damage, uh, I do actually have the garrison units this time. So there we go. So we'll have those guys up in front uh, to kind of help hold them at bay. And then I'm hoping they'll throw more of their archers into the fray this time so we can actually deal some good damage to them. Because if I ever got enough men... Just if I ever destroyed enough men up here, I could get another army so that I can split you guys into two forces and then go on the offensive. I would love to do that. But yeah, let's get you guys down here. Then crossbows. Come on, guys. There. There. And then there. Then ballistas. You guys just kind of just be up here. And then we need to just move all of you guys up here again. And hope that this time they'll actually send more of their archers to their death. Because last time we did some good damage, but I, I could have done more if they actually sent their archers up forward as well. Because yeah, here comes all the cavalry. I'm going to hold off on trying to shoot you guys just yet. I'll let my crossbows keep on loading. I'm going to save my ammo until more of their infantry is here too. It's like once they stop seeing movement back here... Yeah, it looks like they are actually sending more of their archers forward. Plus, as you guys are trying to get in range, and hopefully you can, if they don't send their archers, I can have you guys try and unload there. Because, like, right now... Let's see. Can 
you guys try and yeah, you just stop moving. I'll see if you just like open fire, basically. Like try and hit back here specifically. That's where I want you guys to focus, but yeah, I think now is a good time as any. Throw some stuff there. And there. And then it flags the shit out of the game, but does a good amount of damage. Like there's half their army now dead. Yeah, come on, send more men up this way. Come on, you know you want to do it, game. Let's just get another shot in here, because like this is all that's left in this spot is like this little blob here. Yeah, now now they're starting to send their archers up. There you go. Yeah, come on, guys. Get down on the fun around here. Where you've lost 60% of their army already, and I'm still winning. Yeah, hit those scouts. Or these guys, I mean. Back here. Yeah, wrong unit, but that's fine. There we go. Let's see, so that's 74%. And if anything at all, if they're not going... Oh, yeah, because you guys are firing. And yeah, so just keep opening up back here into them with the ballistas. I can always send these guys up front too, just to just go harass them a little bit more. There goes one, that's the captain. He's got a little bit of here, all of my crossbows finish these guys off, and then I think we can advance forward with at least you guys to just try and harass them. Because I don't want them to just freely shoot me again like they were doing last time. We didn't take a ton of damage, but they still did some. That's like it's you guys to run up here. You can just run up there, and then that's probably good enough. There we go. Now, hopefully, you guys don't siege me again, so I can actually try and get some replenishment around here. Because we've been holding them at bay decently enough around here. Hopefully, their military is actually starting to go down now at this point in time, so that we can start seeing a good change around here. Because the elves are the ones I'm most worried about out of all the factions. Erebor... I know Erdluin and Kazadum are pain. No, oh, Kazim's still alive. Uh, Erebor doesn't have nearly as many skirmishers, though, as Ered Lewin does. And that's why they were kind of a pain. Ered, Erebor has a lot of really good heavy infantry. It's the same as, say, of all dwarves, but they have more archers. They have, they have their, like, their Blacklock engineers as well, but those guys are a pretty high-tier unit. Oh, hi, Rohan. Perfect timing. I was just about to start spamming troops out to try and push into your lands. So if you guys want to attack Fulberg and make it way easier for me to start pushing into you, gladly. Because at this point in time, yeah, we'll be able to start trying to strike uh, the forces of Rohan from the north and uh, sorry, the east and the west at the same time for this campaign now. Because I have at least all the armies over here, Shavos and everybody else, they'll be split off into their own armies once we get them out of Fulberg. Now we need to start spreading out, going for like Fangor and Hornburg, and we just want to try and kill off Rohan as quickly as possible now that we're in the position where we have plenty of troops. The wall machines of Isengard already. Also, I am barely making money. Awesome. Um, and also, I am surprised, honestly, that you did not kill me <laughs> around here. Because for right now, let's see, you guys are making your way back over here. I'm going to drop off here with Zagar. Go into the port again. <sighs> and then... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take the units that are actually... Let's see, you're just retreating. Yeah, so it's like, take everybody out besides you two, basically. Um, go stand over there. I'll just gar go into the city. So that if they're gonna try and attack us, we've got a Nazgul inside to do some just extra damage there. Uh, this guy I'm not going to be able to train, so I'm just going to get rid of you. That way these guys are their own little blob. And then just kind of like hide in the forest around here, I guess, basically. Do that. And then going back over here, I need to immediately start trying to... Yeah, you guys are already training. I'll make sure then to grab three units here. Throw them into Casa Doom. Uh, actually, four units. Just grab another crossbow, why not? There we go. And then how has the military been doing for these guys? So I want to double check that. So Lothlorien right now. Um, Dermawinian. Yeah, so both their militaries are going down. Production, territorial, financial. Yeah, they're both bankrupt. Okay. Yeah, so they shouldn't be able to recruit anything else right now. And then uh, also want to look at the Anduin Bill. So you guys have been steadily going up. You guys are also bankrupt, though, too. Okay. 
Yeah, because the moment right now... Yeah, so now he's going over this way. They've gathered around Gundabad. They've gathered around here. Yeah, I'm just gathering troops. I'm just gotta keep gathering these guys over here. Until we have you guys all ready around here. Because I've got a lot of men. I might as well take the time to make sure I have all of these armies around here before we push through around uh, Gundabad. Because, like, if I have all these guys, I might as well. So, like, keep trying to bring you guys up here. And then in the meantime... You guys are attacking us over here. No I'm trying again. I just want you to be nearby to help. I wish I had a boat so I could like put you guys uh, right over here. But you now just keep trying to help this area out. This guy was not attacked surprisingly. I don't know why the hell you didn't attack this guy. But you now keep making your way over here. And then I believe, um, yes, this actually might be the last thing. Oh. So they try to ambush us. That's just all cavalry. Um, trying to see how many infantry units I have. I'm sad that won't lure them out of the city. Um, that's probably for the best, though, honestly. But, you know, let's fight this battle. Uh, I want to try and minimize our casualties. Yeah, we'll push on over here with me, these guys. It's probably the last thing we do for today, because we've now started the war with the Veilsmen. They, we are gathering our troops up around there. We are now pushing back against Rohan now properly. We're now going to be starting trying to kill them. They might actually be the next army I kill. Um, and then you guys try to ambush me. Let's get my guys to back up here a little bit. So you guys go there and there. Oh, what the hell else? Oh, that's the trolls. And you guys are going to kind of go group up with the cab. Because you're kind of more like a cab unit anyways. Yeah, like you guys group up there. You guys there. And then start the battle. And then... <laughs> here they come. They got a lot of their skirmisher cav, too. I've got a good amount of pikes in here. But yeah, my crossbows, just do what you can here. Because that's going to be the main thing we've got here, is our skirmishers. So just kind of unload into these guys. Do what damage you can. Uh, do try and focus more damage, like, up here. Some of you into this unit. Because this guy took a lot of damage already. And then just slowly moving up with everybody else. But yeah, focus on the other units a little bit now. Yeah, 15% of their army's already dead. Let's try and focus down specific units. It's like the Royal Guard there. And then these Royal Guard units here too. That charge is going to do some good damage. But at least we've got some good armor here. We have to start trying to unload into whatever you can, guys. Let's see. Fourth of their army's already dead. Yeah, some of the Rohirrim's coming around the backside. That's what you guys are for, basically. My wargs are not going to be standing up against uh, any sort of Rohan troops at all. You guys will die with that. But I'll at least have you guys try. The battle is very much in our favor. Let's see you guys. Let's uh, cease fire. Pick your own targets. Let's see. A third of their army is dead so far. You try and help out over here. Let's see. 42% are already dead there. Yeah, just kind of pull away from our troops. Because you pull away and we use to freely shoot you. There we go. Yeah, focus those Royal Guard there. General's Bodyguard also help out against this Royal Guard unit here. Let's see, 55. They got these Rohirrim in the back still. At least my crossbows have really good armor, so you guys can tank those charges a little bit. But yeah, get these guys back over here. General, too. Get over here. Yep, they're fighting to the death. I should just group you guys up together, because basically I'm having you four... Essentially try and deal with anybody that tries to flank us. There you go. Two-thirds of the enemy army is dead. So you get to the right side of the army a little bit, because this one's struggling a little. These guys are good over here now. Yeah, so that guy's broken, fighting to the death. Let's get over here. And deal with these lancers. There we go. Yeah, start breaking them. 80%, not bad. And then... I'll be able to have it so yeah, this army will keep trying to siege the area. I might be able to... There goes the captain. I might be able to have it so we can just take this city this uh, before we're done for today. There we go. Because like, they, they have like nothing left, just a ridiculous amount of cab. I will find it interesting, though, if I do play as Rohan. They are an ex they are the most cab-focused faction imaginable. Like I, did, I had a lot of fun with Kand. It'll be interesting to see how it would feel playing as Rohan. 
because they're the uh, Kand has got a lot of horse archers. Uh, Rohan has a lot of like, proper melee have too. Yeah, that's not that bad for any casualties. So there we go. Now we'll keep bringing everybody else over here. Keep trying to push on into this territory. And then basically, I'll have to have it so that at the start of the next video, we fight around Fulberg, push them back there, then we start spreading out on the western side of Rohan, and start trying to properly take that territory. Because again, I'm, I'm going to make sure that we're not going to be thinking lightly of the elves of Lothlorien. I've been able to destroy their military a little bit, start to weaken. Now we need to have it so that we're going to have it so all these armies that I'm grouping up will be the final nail in Lothlorien's coffin. I see all of you guys. Okay, you're over here, so you can start sieging this area. And I think one of the other armies had siege equipment. Yeah, you do. Yeah, we could we could assault the city right now. Might fight it next video, depending on how this is gonna go, because I can get most of you over here. Can you? No, you can't get into position. We've got a lot of armies around here. So, what's the balance of power is the question. Three to one. I think we're... I'm, I don't think I'm going to want to trust the auto result, but I think we're going to want to fight this ourselves. It's a ridiculous amount of cavalry. Oh, the thing is, though, if my allies... Oh, knowing my allies, they'd get my crossbows into melee with Cav. But we're attacking a city. I can do night battle. That's better. Yeah, no, we can take we can take the night battle. Yeah. A lot of casualties still. But with the night battle, it does give us the city. There we go. So now we've got Aldberg, now we can just start repairing this stuff. And then start putting this onto growth build policy. Merge men together. Grab that spy. Merge all these men together. And then basically, we'll have to have it so we'll merge men together into a full stack army. But hey, at this point in time now, I think this will be a pretty good place to end for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love what you guys have to say about this campaign. If that's something in general, this is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. Merge men together. Grab that spy. Merge all these men together.